Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to work with barcodes. It's possible to capture barcodes inside your Calypso application without having to configure anything in your project. All you need to make sure is that your device supports wedge mode, whether the scanner transforms the barcode into keyboard data. This means you'll capture the barcode in the input box who has focus. Let's give it a try with our project. I'm going to test on my Windows device. I'll bring it up the screen. So I'm going to put the cursor in the login input box and I'm simply going to read the barcode. As you can see, without configuring anything on our project, the barcode scanned by the mobile device is captured by the input box who has focus. Working in wedge mode can lead to errors. The best way of leading with it is to tell the scanner to send the scanned barcode directly to our application. That can be achieved by using the barcode actions available in Calypso. So let me return to our Calypso project. And the rule is as follows. In the opening of the first form, we should call the barcode connect action. In the closing of the form, we should call barcode disconnect. If you want to find where these actions are, you can find them here in Artware Specific. Now, save. And afterwards, in each form where you want to capture the barcode, you need to call barcode enable. I'm going to do it in the products form and say on the opening of the form to barcode enable. and specify where I want the data to go to. It means the barcode and I'm going to save it in a local variable. I'm going to rename this variable to barcode. And I don't care about the type of the barcode going to read for this example. So I'm going to put it in a temporary variable, which we probably won't use. So one of the last ones and save. So finally, we need to know when the barcode was scanned and in that case, do whatever we want with the data. For that, we need to add the any device scan event, which is available in the others button. So add event others, any device scan. This means that this event is triggered whenever a barcode is scanned, regardless of the device who scans it. Now we can do whatever we want with the value that was scanned. For instance, I'm going to search for the product on the table and select it. Remember that we have on this products form, a table where we display all the products. So we can use table find to get the index of the line where the product is. So we want to search in this control, in this column, compare our string, the value on local variable barcode, starting at line one, which I'm going to rename to index. And now with set selection, we can say that we want to select on the table our index temporary variable. Let's just make one safety first. If the index is higher than zero, 
we do the set selection. Otherwise, we do any we don't do nothing. So save. And let's test on the mobile device. We need to close it first. So we can go to products and I can try to read a barcode. As you can see, nothing happens because I've read, I've read that barcode that I've shown you before, but we can make a new product and I'm going to find the barcode that I had just read. Well, I can even read it. But as you can see, now that we are in manage mode, the wedge mode doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to input it manually. OK. I'm going to call it barcode test. And I'm going to save it. We can see it's already here. So let's try to read the barcode now. And as you can see, Calypso selects it automatically. Going back to our project for one final detail. Remember that barcode actions are generic. So all in this group are generic, ac generic actions, which means they work in any of these following manufacturers that you can see here below. If you want, you can call the specific equivalent actions to work only in the selected manufacturer, which means if instead barcode connect, you call Motorola scan connect, the action will only work in if it's in a Motorola device. When you call the barcode connect, it will work either in a Motorola, Honeywell, CypherLab and so on. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about barcode management.